All right, guys. So now let's talk about sales tax. And some of you guys have to pay sales tax and some of you guys don't have to pay sales tax. Now, this is for people who have digital goods. If you're selling digital products or you're having a service where uh, somebody has to subscribe to it, or let's say, for example, you're giving some type of training online or they're watching videos on your service, right? Or they're streaming music. Well, you got to pay the digital goods tax, which is pretty much sales tax, but in the digital form. All right. Now, some states have to pay it. Some states don't have to pay it. Now, I'm going to give you guys a link on the description of this video so you guys can go check out this website where they give you all the information about, you know, as far as like uh, which states you got to pay sales tax. Some states like Florida, which is the reason why I moved here, we don't have to pay for digital goods. Okay. We don't have to pay the digital goods tax at all. So that's why I moved here and we don't have to pay for state tax. Okay. So if you are a business owner, I recommend you guys move to states that you don't have to pay this taxes because then you get to keep your money. All right. Um, again, I'm also going to add this link to this uh, article. This is a very good article. It has some video information too, where you could go and learn a lot about, uh, you know, basically sales tax for digital goods in the U S all right. Uh, some countries, I think was a Europe. I think they have the vet or something like that. Vet tax, uh, which is similar to, uh, the digital goods taxes here in the U S uh, but pretty much almost every country at this point, they trying to tax everybody. All right. Uh, every state, like I said, is different. So you have to go in here and do your own information. Okay. And you want to go in and find out exactly how much is it that they're charging uh, for this. If you're clicking here, it shows you the information about the local tax, how much they're paying. So it's a very good list to have. Now, let me explain to you guys how this thing actually works. Okay. So if you live in New York city, there's an 8% tax on everything. Okay. So let's say for example, you paying uh, 99 cents or a dollar, you go to the dollar store and you notice that you give $2 because they charge you a dollar and eight cents. Well, the store gets to keep a dollar and then they take the eight cents to pay it to uh, the actual government, the state government. Okay. Now for digital goods is the exact same thing. Even though it's in a digital space, some States, they want to charge you as if this was actually something physical. Okay. So let's say for example, you have an item $10 or whatever service it is, it's $10. Then from there, the tax is 80 cents, right? So it's 0.8%. Well, for New York city, some States, like I said, is different in Connecticut. I used to pay 6%. Okay. Uh, but let's say from this $10, you got to pay uh 0.80. All right. So from there, your total revenue is $10 and 80 cents. Now you're going to report that you have $10 and 80 cents, but then from there, what you do is you pay to your state, you pay the 80 cents that basically is the 8% of the sales tax. Okay. Now, if you do not charge this, you get to keep less of your money. Okay. This 80 cents, you're not supposed to pay it. This 80 cents, your customers are supposed to pay it. Okay. This is a sales tax that they have to pay, not you. So always keep that in mind that when you're charging for your services, you add these things to it. Okay. Um, but basically let's go into this one. What happens? Let's say it's $10. You don't tax on the 80 cents. The total revenue is $10 and 80 cents. So then now what you pay is, uh, 0.80 cents, right? But then because you didn't charge the customer, the 80 cents, now you have to pay that yourself. So it will be what you keep, which is $9 and 20 cents. Okay. This is what you get to keep now. All right. So this is why it's so important to know exactly how much is it that you want to charge your customers on top of, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to, to charge them for. So look at this example, Connecticut. All right. Sales or purchase digital do downloads from the internet tax, at a reduced rate of 1%. This is when I moved there, there was just charging 1% of whatever it was. So I said, Oh, cool. I don't mind it. I'll pay it. Right. But then at some point last year, 
around January, they changed it to 6%. So you might be thinking, well, 6% is nothing, you know, it's nothing crazy. But when you think about it like this, you have a hundred thousand dollars, every a hundred thousand dollars that you earn, right? A hundred K right times 0.6%, which is $6,000, right? Sorry, 0 0.06. So a hundred thousand times 0 0.06. It comes out to six thousand dollars so that's just on sales tax so then from there you have to pay for the state tax which is another six percent so basically every a hundred thousand dollars you gotta pay you know twelve thousand dollars so twelve percent of your income is going away just by paying connecticut and this happens a lot in other you know other states i've seen states that they pay eight percent you know i've seen some states that they pay five percent four percent so it all depends on on where you live and also too um they have rules for each one so you see here it says includes audio works audio visuals and books okay digital products are taxed taxable with permanent permanent right to use okay so each one of them has their own rules okay so you have to keep track of all of these things to make sure that you don't lose money at the end of the day and you're actually charging the customer the sales tax and you don't have to pay it yourself you know for me i didn't know about these things right when i moved to connecticut i'd say oh it's only one percent so i don't even care so when somebody comes to codingface.com right somebody comes to codingface.com and signs up for the monthly subscription, which is $20, I never charged them the extra sales tax, right? So I was always earning less than $20, right? Because I said, you know what? I'm not trying to become rich out of this. And this is why I always tell people, like people don't even understand, like I've left so much money on the table because I'm just trying to help people out. I'm not trying to become rich off this thing, right? But let's say at $20, right? $20 time. 0 0.06 right for every twenty dollars i had to pay one dollar and twenty cents okay so now let's say i earned a hundred thousand dollars right in total instead of me actually keeping the hundred thousand dollars i have to minus those six percent so six thousand dollars i was already losing it because i wasn't charging nobody uh you know the 20 20 dollars uh, or charging the extra dollar and 20 cents that i needed to charge so i was responsible for that so this is something that you want to keep in mind so even though i earned a hundred thousand dollars i didn't get to keep a hundred thousand dollars i got to keep ninety four thousand dollars because every hundred thousand dollars that i made i had to pay the t uh, the state sales tax on this okay so always keep this in mind you know and, and again i'm telling you guys because me personally i didn't care about you know spending this money and, and helping people out and just keep it at, at twenty dollars instead of charging twenty one dollars and sixty cents or twenty one dollars and twenty cents right i'd rather just charge twenty dollars and it keeps it keeps it simple for somebody right uh but for you guys that are running a legit business now like you're not doing this like how i came into the game i'm doing it for the love i'm trying to help people out like nah you're doing a freaking business is you're here for to make money you shouldn't be paying six thousand dollars for nobody like that's the truth okay like <laughs> that's me because i'm stupid right but i'm telling you guys out of my own mistakes like don't do this like always charge the sales tax if your uh state is gonna charge you for it because if not then you're earning less money and imagine this if you have a business where you're only earning a hundred thousand dollars and then now you're paying uh i don't know fifty thousand dollars for somebody to come work with you right so then now you are paying that person fifty thousand dollars and then now your profit is fifty thousand dollars now you got a minus the six thousand dollars that you were supposed to pay from sales tax so then now how much is that how much you're earning you're only earning forty four thousand dollars a year instead of the four uh, the fifty thousand dollars that you were supposed to make in, in profit so this is when you want to go in and, and keep track of things like this like the sales tax so again i'm going to put this article below so you guys can learn a little bit more and also to this air table which gives you all of the information for each state also i do want to mention that even though you have this list here go and do your googles because 
Today, it could be 2%, just like how it happened to me. <laughs> like, I moved to Connecticut, it was 1% in 2018, right? In 2019, they say, hey, by 2020 of January, we're going to raise it to 6%. I didn't look at the, the the message. I didn't look at the, the things that were there. You know, I didn't get the memo, right? I didn't do my Googles. So when 2019 came around and 2020 came around, I had to pay all that money in, in taxes. You get what I'm saying? So keep that in mind so you could save some money and you could keep more of your income. Okay, learn from my mistakes, guys. All right, I'm going to stop right here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.